Sherry asks, <laughs> calling you out here. Uh, when I log into Teams using my personal account on mobile, it now automatically logs into the free community version of Teams, and I can no longer see the tenants where I am invited as a guest using that account. Is it just me? Oh, it's totally just you. It's really, it's you. <laughs> it's, you. it's all about you, Shari. Uh, I know. You're, you're flagged in the system. And <laughs> They're like, no, you're getting in the back corner. You only get the little freebie version. You don't get the, I used to be able to log in using, it's an outlook.com account and it's a Teams where I've been invited as a guest. And of course that's my Microsoft centric account for my certified trainer and all of those community profiles. So not being able to get into those teams now with that account is uh, going to be uh, very productivity prohibitive. Let's put it that way. <laughs> so, and have you yeah. signed out? And so when you sign it back in, it's just defaulting whether you like it or not in terms of the community tenant. Yep. Yep. Clear the cache. It works in the browser. Works in the browser. Does not work on the phone. Have you have you uninstalled and reinstalled? Yes. So there's and something still faulty. in mobile that's caching mm -hmm. your credential. Mm -hmm. I would even look at the Authenticator app and see if that's in there. Um, okay. Clean, clean that out. Uh, that's one of the first things. And maybe even do some searching on mobile, um, mobile caching and find out where that's actually located on your phone um, and just get rid of it. Because even when I log in on the browser, it reverts to the teams.live.com. Mm -hmm. And and because that's for your personal accounts, right? So you can and create a community. I'm like, I don't want to create a community. I have a community. I have many communities. And I have, you know, why mm -hmm. I don't I don't want to create a new one. I just want to be able to get to the ones that a few weeks ago I was able to get to. Mm -hmm. Nobody else that, put in put in a ticket. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I did put in a ticket because this does affect my son's tenant as well, because they've invited me in as uh, in, in a tenant as a guest user because um, I work. He, he owns a brewery and I work there and that's how they chat. You know what's going on, you know, shift change, all of that. So I, I'm thinking not every restaurant or um, establishment that has employees assigns them a license every month. It's got to be something, in, you know, again, not just me. It's got to be a common thing. And so uh, since I have Michelle here and I know she knows some things. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I know that there was, um, you know, like a separation of when the new community version, the free version of Teams was released. And they made some announcement about clarifying like a, um, you know, cause that you could use, it can, doesn't have to be a, a named, you know, email, a company email, uh, uh, you know, a, a private domain, like you could use Hotmail, Gmail, Yahoo, whatever, AOL for those people still out there. Um, <laughs> you, you, got still, mail. you could use that. Yeah. You can still, you, you could use that for that free tenant, but that it would separate. So if you are using that like, uh, so I have my Hotmail, which is my, it has long been, you know, 12 years now, mm -hmm. my Microsoft ID in there for MVP for community, all those things. So it's not associated with a free account over there because it's already tied to all of these other community pieces. Yeah. Um, so. See, and I thought mine was too, hmm. but apparently not with the change. So. Anyway, so no answer. <laughs> well, that, this is one of those things where, like, uh, again, I would like we the suggestions of of troubleshooting mm -hmm. that, and I would, right. yeah. like, my first thought was, um, it was again like Michelle said was uh, it could be that it's cached, it's an authenticator. So if you can go and remove that profile and re-add that in, uh, uh, again. Okay, try that. We'll see what happens. And let, and let us know in the comments if it's not just me. <laughs> and that would be a good blog post. I know, yeah, right? I sure would. <laughs> okay. Challenge accepted. <laughs>